Yeah. Left, so. Oh, yeah. I mean... Uh, some, Floaties, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, impo not impossible, but extremely hard to combo, hard sure. to edge guard. You know, you got to deal with uh, just very, very large hitboxes. Uh, on top of all of that, he kills you really easily, too. So he kind of has everything. He's, he's a bit of an everything He's burger, the avatar bro. for a reason. Exactly. Raised to all. Attends to all nations. Let's see how it gets on against the uh, beavers. Yeah, and I mean, uh, Tafar usually a pretty quick to start player, so he's going to try and pressure you a lot with these assists, get mm -hmm. a, a combo started. And honestly, 40% pretty good so far. Tries to find a little bit more more off of the assist. Into the, uh, try to put him on the platform, but not way too much going on after that. And a quick 60, though, it's how fast you can rack up damage yeah, in this for character. Real. I just feel like Beavers are a very momentum-based character, right? Obviously, with that, be able to switch all the time. As long as you get your combo started with this uh, Daggett starter, right? You can yeah. pile a lot of pressure on it. can kind of upset people, you know, to get started. A lot of pressure already on finding Tommy to find something else, indeed, to get started. Yeah, and it looks like he's got a little bit going. Gets the back air, tries to get a little bit more. Actually, he drops him on the floor, but to far quick with the back throw. Assist pops him up. Maybe he can get something started here. Has to force the recovery and make his way down with the air ball, but gets clipped. Yeah, he's hunting him down. Still can't find a way back down safely until now. Really good on uh, finding Tom to kind of you know, eviscerate that uh, attempt on uh, getting his recovery back. Still gets on the platform, and still, uh, to far is relentless. But until Ooh. now! Yeah. Misses the tornado, and that's the first stop for finding Tom. Yeah, and the worst part about that, he used a bar to try and kind of save that situation, and it, it turned into something way worse. Now you lost your bar, and you're at 46 on your next stock because you didn't even make it back. Still can't find it. On top of that, Angus burst now. Yep. So when you think you get the kill, you have to get it again. You have to bait some options out indeed to get something. Uh, finding Tom doing a good uh, idea now. We're actually changing up the momentum now. So I was talking about uh, with Beavers being such a momentum-based character. Now they're on the hunt. They're on the chase now. Finding Tom can do a really good job sitting back, waiting for them to come approach you. Like we talked about before, being a floaty character, you might live just that little bit longer in combos until now. Finally, Tafar gets the stock back. Yeah, finally finds the stock and a little bit surprised he didn't utilize the burst there. Maybe trying to save it, uh, you know, save the bar for extending some combos, something along those lines. But wow, great platform cancel on the Nair and gets a little bit more off of it with the bar usage. Tries to carry him off the Still side. Oh, and wow. The Get hidden missile's not doing the yeah. job, but just scaring, finding Tom to get back to the ledge. Where are you going to go? Puts out all of the hitboxes in the world. Nowhere to get back to center stage. And now uh, to fight in that lead. Yeah, and I mean, this is what I was talking about. We're not using the burst when I feel like it might have been, you know, might have saved you a stock or two, and you're in a, really, sure. a, a lot worse of a position now because of it. Tafar able to break out of a combo with the assist into the up strong. He knows he's not using burst, so he's really going to start sending these air up strongs just to try and catch him, uh, you know, catch him really early. As the burst there, kind of wasted it for him, I'd say. And I uh, feel like Tafar's in a very good position then. Yeah, just letting these up smashes rip, all these up strongs, shall I say, and just, you know, really good position now for Tafar. Yeah. Back to Daggett. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, you switch back to this one, a, a very, you know, very combo heavy character. And even though you're Aang, this character doesn't usually care about that floatiness. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get those combos off of the up air, uh, you know, off of those, off of those weak hits very consistently. And if you look now, already 80 percent on this last stock. He's gotta find something quick. That momentum rush shifted all the way into the fast favor, and I feel like he's just been running away with it as the game's going on. Uh, to finding Tom in a lot of trouble, gets the back throw right there. Uh, the Norbit so strong, sets up the miss. Uh, the Missiles <laughs> again. Yeah. Gets the slime, no kill though, and just surviving by the skin of his teeth. Has to find a way back down to far in such a good position. Yeah, incredible position. Three stocks to one, 159 on Aang. Uses the meter as well, so we can't even potentially save for burst. Should be an up throw, probably gonna do it. Yep. And that is game one for Tafar after a bit of a rough start. Yeah. Turns it around and like, I mean, really turned it around. Yeah, had to kind of like, you know, push himself back into the chair and yeah. kind of pay attention, lock in, yeah, uh, find something. Yeah, the game of lean indeed. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I feel like Tom was doing good. I think, you know, with a little bit different uh, util utilization of, of the meter, mm -hmm. uh, that game could have been a lot, a lot closer. Uh, so it really wasn't much uh, It wasn't much that he did as far as neutral that was wrong. It was a lot of it was just, you got to use the meter a little bit differently and, and find, you know, find some openings that way. Um, one of the things that I really like about this game is how important uh, counter picking is. Uh, so what do you think we're going to see? Well, I was thinking we're going to see maybe Urkin, uh, maybe for a ceiling change, uh, maybe obviously for the platforms and, you know, yep. hey, man, <laughs> yep. that's that why I'm one. up here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I'm up here. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely perfect decision. I mean, I think this is great for Aang and yeah. while also cutting down uh, cutting down on a lot of uh, the things that, uh, that you know, he can do with a, with a Daggett, rather. Yeah. Uh, you know, with, with cutting down the up airs, he's got to try to platform tech chase a little bit more on Daggett and Aang, uh, you know, can, it doesn't really need to do anything. 
I just feel like with the platform change, now you save a lot of the time. You can land for free on different options. You know, we talked about Aang being a floaty character with multiple platforms, a lot more uh, options to land safely with all this pressure that you know Tafar's putting out with Dagger, with Norbert, with both these beavers being such a terror. Uh, you know, getting about to stage. Look at the damage he's taken already. It's kind of an evenish game. Uh, you know, finding Tom doing a good job now of uh, you know keeping his ground. Yeah, and finding Tom seems to always have a great start. Speaking of which, maybe he gets the stock here. If he can put a little bit of pressure off stage with the air ball. It's him low, but yeah, I can't contest that move. Yeah, Tornado is a huge hitbox. Very uh, deceptive, I'd say. Don't really know where it's going to uh, end as well. And okay. Yep. Throw right there. Not doing too much. No kill. And just setting up the assist for the top platform. Really good option. Switches uh, to Daggett. Wow. Oh, should I say to Norbert to get that kill? And that's fine. And now, to far, what can you do with the lead? And that dash back that he did on the forwarder when he landed, it baits an option, immediately punished it with a strong, very, very good choice on Tafar's part. But gets a clip there by the back hit of the uppy. And yeah, there's no assist for you to teleport to, my friend. That is a stock. And honestly, only 66. I would say Tom's doing a little bit better this game. I'm liking the airball pressure as well to make sure you can very ambiguous where he wants to land. And I feel like being deceptive is going to help him a lot, especially against all this pressure from Norbit right now, letting these hitboxes fly. But still, Ang seems to be the one flying right now, finding Tom, just doing a good job of just evading him and uh, finding damage when he can. Yeah, and honestly, took out the assist right there, so Tafar is not going to have it for a while. This is usually when you want to start putting on the pressure, but if you're stuck at the ledge, it makes it a little bit hard to do so. Gets hit for the reverse hit of Fair and has to find his way back. Gets clipped by the assist again, though, and now we're off stage. Two bars, so we have to use burst here, maybe off the back, though? Yeah, looking for the... Uh the ledge hog right there just couldn't find it. It's just guarding that ledge, making sure. Putting out a lot of hot, uh, hitboxes again, get, uh, making sure you can't touch the platform safely. There is the up strong in the air. And uh, finally, uh, to fight in that lead yet again. All the whole stuck up ahead as well. Yeah, man, that you have to really be careful. The first hit of that up strong, that air up strong, just caused so much damage absolutely. to your stock. It can absolutely obliterate you. And I, I really still, I, I'm, these, these, the meter usage on Tafar's part is amazing. He's using it so extremely well, extending combos with it, things like that. Um, and Tom trying to make it happen here, but with the assist on stage, it makes it really difficult to lock him down. Uh, and I, I think Tom is really struggling with that. I think that seems to be the difference maker in Beaver's whole game is the assist is he's teleporting, he's mixing up the timing where he wants to land. And I don't think Final Tom's really ready for where he needs to be at all times. Yeah, yeah, and I think, you know, it, it, you can't really catch Tafar with a lot of the, the random sneaky stuff because he's been in it so long. He's a um, Tesla, bro. You can't exactly. surprise him. <laughs> and barely living, holding on to the burst with, you know, a good decision on Tom's part. Clips him again. And now see if we can rinse and repeat that same scenario from earlier. But we get clipped. Yeah, three stocks to one now. Tafar looking to try and end it right here off of this opening. I guess we'll see. I love the way that he uses the assist to kind of cover his recovery as well. So it's very hard to kind of interact with him as well. Already on the Tornado hitbox, being really strong. Really smart recoveries from Tafar, and it seems to be helping him in survivability. Yeah, yeah, you know, it really does seem like it. And then I think being able to find the kill is something that Tom's really Ooh. struggling with. Back hit, Spike tries to get a little bit more, but Tom too low, doesn't use the bar to air dodge after, and that is going to do it. Tafar takes it 2-0 over finding Tom. He will move on. We will see where that goes for him. But good stuff to both of them. I thought they both played extremely well. Yeah, same, same, same. And yeah, I want to say, can't say I expected a little bit different, <laughs> but it's a far a phenomenal player. So we'll see how far that will take him. Um, he is one of my contenders to make top eight, cause a lot of upsets, sure. or potentially win if he can really oh, get it. Oh, really? Bad. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you said it the best, I feel like, you know, being a tester, you're not really going to find too many surprises. I feel like you kind of have to rely more on the fundamentals of what you can do with your character. And obviously, Finding Tom was doing a lot of things with Aang, uh, but I just feel like the tips, the, the tricks, should I say, just weren't in the bag enough uh, to kind of surprise uh, to fire. But the Beavers were looking strong, especially yeah. that dagger play. Yeah. Uh, so much pressure uh, just all over the stage, kind of walls you and kind of sticks to you, you know what I mean, like glue. Yeah. And it's so hard to get that little Beaver off you. Yeah, I absolutely agree. And I mean, you know, we had mentioned it, you can't surprise Tafar, but Tafar could surprise you because you've been playing for so long. <laughs> yeah. He knows these 